Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for May. It's your general reading for May. I strongly encourage you to check out your other signs as they continue to be loaded so that you can get more of a picture, maybe even a better picture. Maybe one of the other ones will resonate with you better if this one resonates at all. Okay, take what does, leave what doesn't. Plenty of other content to check out. All right. Uh, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. General, not going to resonate with everyone. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> Pisces is a little bit of a playful mood. I feel like it's an overcompensation for something, though. Not in a bad way. I feel like it's a little bit of a defense mechanism. Um, kind of what I'm seeing here with you, Pisces. It's like... Um, the the smile it's not necessarily fake but it's like you're you're mustering up like you're you're mustering it all up you're giving it everything you got to kind of keep that smile on your face so it's not fake but you're having to pull down from a place really really deep in order to keep that smile on your face right now you're having to really um sort of consciously make an effort pisces to bring forward all the things that really really make you happy in this space is kind of what i'm seeing um, yeah. So anyways, yeah, remember that these readings could resonate with you in a different way later on when you watch them or even at all. Let's say they don't like you're looking at this reading. You're like, that's not my life at all. What is she even talking about? She's so far off. And maybe that's the case, but maybe this happens. Maybe this starts to play out a week from now or five weeks from now or five years from now. Five years came through for cancer. Something about five years came through for cancer. High Priestess of Fire. Um, one of the High Priestesses came through for Cancer. I honestly can't remember which one now. I think it did anyway. But it's a five. Okay. Message. Fast Messages. High Priestess of Spirit. That's the one that came through for Cancer. Pisces, you are, you are there. Very, very intuitive. Very in touch right now. Okay trapped another seven and focus like I said yeah Pisces I feel like there's really no way for you to get out of what you're doing as you feel it there's no way for you to get through this energy um you're just you're just you know biting the bullet and and getting through it and trying to focus best way you can you're gonna have fast messages coming through for you from spirit um I think they've been coming through. Pisces, you're super, super in tune right now. I feel almost like you feel like you're trapped in your own head and you kind of can't do anything about it. You're trapped maybe in your way of life. Maybe you have a lot of responsibility on you, whatever this is. I feel like you just don't feel like there's any way through it except to just sit in it. And and maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I feel like you're giving it your, all of your focus. Um, this is some really intense energy for you, Pisces. There's a lot of fire that I'm seeing here. It's just super intense. But what I am seeing is, like I said, you know, I feel like you're having to to really pull from a space that's so, so deep inside of you to pull out that smile and stay focused. You're going through a lot right now, but I don't know that anyone, excuse me, would know that by just looking at you or even talking to you. Three of Wands. Patience, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, Pisces. I feel like, are you, kind of feels like you're having to hold it together for other people or for someone else, at least as you see it. Also, I'm seeing someone, I'm, there's a particular Pisces that kind of knows they're a little bit of a dramatic person. Like they're a little bit of a drama king, a little bit of a drama queen. Um, they are a little bit selfish. They kind of make things about themselves. They know this though, and they kind of hang back a little bit. Um, they also tend to... They're trying to approach it maybe in a different way. Okay. Mirroring practice makes perfect as well here. You can't, uh, for some, somebody just wants to jump into something and it's like, no, you need to start slower. You need to slow down. Ace of Swords, Intellect. 
Pisces, F, this came through a little bit like on the Cancer read. Cancer was super, super clear about where they needed to go now. And even in the Scorpio read, it felt as though it was from someone else's perspective looking at Scorpio that was very clear on what they needed to do now with Scorpio and how they were looking at Scorpio and how they felt about Scorpio. So there's this moment of clarity that's happening with the water signs across the board and maybe even other signs too. I haven't done any other ones yet, but um, we, we will see. But yeah, there's this there's this level of growth and clarity that's happening um and just this this evolved behavior yeah look at that logic that king of swords energy coming out there for you to stay focused you're definitely in your head Pisces, but I don't necessarily see it as a bad thing. I think you have been running away from your head for a long time. This may involve, um, you know, drinking. This may involve drugs. This may, anything, any substance, maybe you're coming out of some sort of, I'm seeing someone here that's dealing with some sort of like a pain management, getting off of um, maybe opiates or something like that. Um, yeah, definitely. It's like the fog is clearing out for some of you. You're being really patient with yourself and the ones around you, Pisces. I absolutely really, really love this energy. You're not just being patient. You are facing things head on and you are actively working. Even if it doesn't look like it, you are really, really putting a lot of effort into keeping yourself um, centered, focused, and, 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 and maintaining some form of happiness. It's coming through as happiness. Let's get into these real quick. Two of Cups, Romance. Woman of Ideas, Chatterling. Look at that. The, this Eight of Pentacles coming right over that Eight of Pentacles. I love it. So there's definitely a partnership happening here, Pisces. You should check out the Scorpio and the Cancer reading. Okay, there's something happening here that's so clear, okay? Two of Cups, juggling work. Again, like I said, Pisces, I feel like you're trapped. You may be working harder than you have in the past. Um, things may be piling up on you. And you're just kind of trying to figure out how to delegate that and, and work that, juggle that, maintain that, keep a balance in that, okay? The Queen of uh pentacles here earth mother we're looking at trying trying to get stable focusing on being stable we're clearing out the fog okay disillusionment this came through for cancer like i said i feel like you're definitely in your head but i don't feel like it's a bad thing okay she seeks intuitive wisdom absolutely you got two cards of spirit here all right, separation, loss, melancholy, the three of swords, um, and then the five of cups, disappointment and love. I don't, and then cancer energy, the chariot comes through for you. Enjoy the ride, okay, Pisces? Yeah, you may have lost something, but you have something bigger and better coming in for you, okay? You may have lost something. Maybe you were working too hard. Maybe something fall. You may even have to go back and revisit a past lover to tie up loose ends also Pisces okay I don't feel like this is a bad thing I feel like you're handling this really well I feel like it's not maybe like an ideal situation but I, I you definitely got a handle on it and you're doing better than most people would in this situation and also I mean you're just evolving it's like it's almost like I'm seeing Pisces like I'm, they're just trying to sh to stay strong. They're just trying to stay afloat, but they don't realize they're actually rewiring the entire way that they do things. They're rewiring their life. Even I'm seeing information codes. I'm seeing I'm seeing DNA. Um, we're not going to go into that because this ain't supposed to be that deep. <laughs> but let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this is fast, fast 
communication that's come in between you and an, <clears throat> another person. I do feel like it's um, a new person or a person that's acting new. Not not in a bad way. Like, yeah, I know. It's like, why are you acting new? No, not like that. Like they're acting like they've taken on a new perspective. They've shifted in some way as well. Okay. There's some challenges here. Definitely some challenges here. There may have been some competition here. Also came through in Cancer Reading. There's a new, there's, there's, a, there's definitely new potential and new prospect here for whoever this is res, resonating with Pisces. This is not the same old person. This I'm hearing the same old drab idea, even of a person. Uh, this, this, there could actually be a future in this. Okay, again, you've got this, you know, three of wands here, or three of wands here. Um, there's, there's patience and planning. Patience is a virtue, but also like, I, I feel like you, again, you know where you're going. Like you have an end goal. Two of pentacles comes to clarify two of pentacles. You're going to, you're going to find what you love and what you love is going to find you. Pisces. I love this reading for you. Um, you're going to be fine. It's like it may, it, it feels a little chaotic, but only internally, really. And again, no one knows you're going through this as you're going through it. King of Spades coming through here. Again, I mean, it's, it's a card of log, King of Swords, King of Swords. Okay. It's a card of logic and taking action and verbally expressing this. That, that may also be what's trapped your real feelings there. Okay. There's some deception here or some avoidance or both. Maybe there's, there's a, there's something that needs to be possibly spoken. Maybe you're not quite sure how to articulate it right now. You've got a lot of, you've got messages here. You've got messages here. You've got, you've got a lot of um, communication that's needing to take place, Pisces. There's some confusion over what you want or, or maybe not what you want, how you want to go about to get it, how you want to go about getting it. But the path is clear. The end goal, the end game, that's that's clear. Yeah, something needs to be confronted here. But I feel like I feel like you're very uncomfortable with something. Pisces, you're uncomfortable with the way something is being handled or the way something is playing out. And you're going to speak that. You are going to speak that. It has to do with someone from the past. And I don't I don't really think you're scared to lose this person. Not at all. I think you're a little bit cautious about hurting someone's feelings. But I don't think you're scared to lose this person. Particularly because you already know that someone else better for you is coming or something else better for you is coming. Could be a whole group of people. Okay. This could be a job. This could be a romantic relationship. This could be a lot of things, but I don't, I feel like you're being delicate with the situation. Let me say that. I feel like you're being delicate with the situation and rightfully so. I think you're handling this very well. Pisces, I love this reading for you. I love you. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. Let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Gina, she's so spicy.